All right, everybody. So you've got your free science workshop kit. Now what? Well, first thing you might want to do is open it up and take a look inside. And hopefully you'll find an instruction sheet, a plastic spoon, some cardboard, a chunk of aluminum foil, a clothespin, a few popsicle sticks, some wood bits, a wedge and a flat piece, duct tape, rubber bands, and paper clips. Got it? Good. Excellent. Hey everybody, uh, time to get weird. Welcome to Free Science, wherever you happen to be right now. Um, but what we've got today is a whole bunch of bits, which are hopefully going to turn into a catapult. And there's not really a right or a wrong way to do this, and I'm going to be honest, uh, we're going to make this real time, we're going to see how it goes, because science is weird and science is messy. Uh, but what I pulled from the kit today, we've got a clothespin, which is excellent because it has this little springy bit in here, excellent for launching things appropriately across the room. Uh, a little wedge, little bits and pieces, uh, half a popsicle stick, another wood bit, uh, and some duct tape. Foil for flare later, maybe. Um, but what we're thinking, if we're going to want to fling something catapult style, uh, I'm going to want something a little bit sturdier than this clothespin here. So I'm going to pick the big wood chunk uh, and tape these together, hopefully so that we can get a little bit more stability. I'll have a place to hold this without pinching my fingers in it. Um, whether or not this is going to be better on the front or the back of the stick, I don't know. But let's find out. Uh, in your kit, you should have a little bit of pre-rolled foil. It's a really exciting sound. Um, but if you want to tear some of that off, I think I said foil instead of tape. What I meant was tape. Um, but what we've got is some tape, and I'm just going to start by affixing this to the base. We're going to see what happens. It's probably not going to be super pretty. That's all right. And that feels pretty strong. And you can see we've got some good flinging action off the end. Uh, and realistically, this might just work right now. Cool. Uh, but I want to make this a little bit more hardcore. We want to see if we can get this to go further or maybe a little bit stronger. Um, so we're going to add a little arm. Uh, and if I just put the popsicle stick on the way it is, we got a little bit of length. Um, I'd like to get it a little bit taller. I'd like to change that angle. Uh, so I pulled a little wood bit out of the kit. And I think the next step is just going to be to affix that on there so we've got a little bit more angle for our catapult. Uh, and whether or not you want to do this is definitely up to you. I'm sure there are so many more ways to build this than what we're thinking of right now. I think Eric's going to give it a shot. Hopefully you all will also give it a shot. We're going to see how these turn out. Uh, and if yours turns out really cool, if you build one that you're super proud of, send it to us. Let us see it. Uh, let us see a picture or a shot of you flinging paper balls across the room at your cat. I don't know. Maybe making a basket. There we go. Nice. And by nice, I mean definitely good enough for now. Uh, so we've got a little bit of elevation there. Not super strong on that side. I might fix that tape up a little bit. Uh, but I'm going to add this arm for some extension. Let's see. Whoop. This is the fun part where you realize that uh, adults have just as much trouble uh, with their hand-eye coordination when they're on camera and everybody's watching. Uh, bonus points to you if you don't get your fingers tangled in the duct tape. Sweet. Nice. We got a little bit of a workable arm there. Got the height, got the extension, got the spring. Uh, and this could be good enough. I could probably fling something across the table right now if I wanted to. Uh, but I want to add just a little bit of flair. There's some foil in your kit. Uh, and I think I want a scoopy basket. Maybe I can fling M&Ms across the room and uh, see if somebody can catch them in their mouth. Uh, but I'm not really sure how to attach this. So this is kind of a guessing game. If you're thinking right now and you want to be yelling at the video that you've got a really good idea uh, on how to do this instead of just kind of dwarfing it into a ball, uh, do it, please. We want to know all of your good ideas. We will put them on the internet and it will be really awesome. But for now, we're going to call this a prototype. It just kind of looks like a weird, almost like an aluminum foil sock with a little scooper at the end. And let's see if we use our last bit of tape here. Just stick that on. All right. 
It's beautiful. And by beautiful, I mean, we're gonna see if this works or not. Uh, but we've got the extension. Mm, I don't know if I like that. Maybe we'll take the foil off. Uh, this is kind of how science goes. If you don't like it, change it. We got the bits in there. We got the pieces in there. You probably have some really, really random stuff laying around you right now uh, that could turn into a really cool science project. Um, but for now, I'm gonna find some things to fling. Ha <laughs> ha, maybe that's what the foil's for. And let's give it a test. Yes, ha ha. Hey Eric, I don't know how to stop the camera. Okay. <laughs> it's on the back. If you're thinking about building something a different way, that's awesome. Eric also built a prototype. He is not here right now, but I have changed my clothes to pretend to be him. And here's another option for your catapult. For this one, you'll need the foil, the spoon, a little bit of that duct tape, a rubber band if you're feeling fancy, and a paper clip. There we go. If you're feeling super fancy. Now for this one, essentially, you're just gonna wanna make a little slit in your cardboard so that your spoon can wedge itself in there, and that can be the fulcrum of your lever. I'm gonna use a pair of scissors, because we have a bunch laying around. You can use keys, you can use a knife with some adult supervision, anything to get a little slot in there to wedge your spoon. So let's see. Being careful of your fingers, please. Yeah, there we go. So once we stick the spoon in there, you can see we've already got the setup where we're gonna get some flinging action. Yeah, from our catapult. If we don't want our spoon to, <laughs> to accidentally fling across the room like that, we might wanna add a little bit of duct tape. So I'm gonna get our secret backup emergency spoon and pull off a little bit of tape from our tape roll. Now, if you fling your spoon across the room, it is not gone forever. You can go pick it back up. Um, but through the wonderful magic of video editing, surprise, there's another spoon on the table. There we go. Just a little bit of duct tape here. Excellent. If you feel like making this really fancy, if you feel like decorating it, if you wanna cut the duct tape so it fits a little bit more snugly, all of those are excellent options. But right now, we're gonna go short, sweet, and simple. We've got a little lever arm, we've got a fulcrum, and we've got some very simple flinging action, which should suffice just the way it is. Haha, <laughs> that's a good one. If you wanna make this a little bit fancier, you can use your rubber band to hold your spoon down and act like a little bit of a trigger. Boop. There we go, just like that. Or if you wanna be even fancier, one of the things that Eric had done on his original design, which is where our secret extra spoon came from, is a little paper clip switch. So you can see right here, pressing on that paper clip will bend it. And if you set the spoon up so that it's underneath the lip there, you've got a little trigger here. Boom. I'm sure you're thinking of other ways. I'm sure you've heard me say I'm sure about 16 times in this video, unless we've cut them all out. But the moral of the story is take your kit, take your bits, Take your wonderful, amazing brain and please keep making, please keep creating. When times are scary and uncertain, humans are the ones that are gonna come up with these wonderful new ideas. And they're gonna do that by tinkering. They're gonna do that through they, what they already know. They're gonna do that through the knowledge of their friends and their community. And we love having you all as our community. So please get out there, make something amazing, show it to us, make somebody's day, make your own day, keep being awesome.